Uh, on top business, I said the Redeemed Christian Church of God. They don't do one of their 2020 inspiration conference. When we say they call galvanizing for growth, when we say go bring together industry or garden for the sidelines of the growth, the vice president of Ninja, Professor Yemo Shibanjo, and the president of the African Development Bank, and King Wumi Adishino, he talked well for the need to focus on what he come at based on money matter, need for accountability and betterness for the use of money to bring the results. Look at the cost of infrastructure, not just in Nigeria, but um, in, in, in Africa globally. You have that roughly about, uh, you know, almost 40% uh, of infrastructure is financed by governments. Right? And, and so if you have 40% being financed by governments, the efficiency of that expenditure is particularly important. So it doesn't just mean that we need more money for infrastructure. Yes, we have an infrastructure financing gap in Africa, which is about $68 billion to $108 billion a year. But if government is financing a lot of infrastructure, let's make sure that it is good infrastructure, quality infrastructure, but the procurement system is such that you're getting the best people to do it. And let's also make sure that it's not the input that matters, it's the, it's the output. And there must be an accountability system that basically says we're putting one dollar or one naira into this and it's actually producing the visible results. And I think citizen um, forum for accountability are always very important to be sure that government resources are being used very well. Everyone to keep a focus on what is important. Both the lender and the borrower have a focus on what is important. So there is, in some senses, a partnership to achieve the objectives. And that is very, that's very crucial so that the, the, the lender in particular doesn't feel that they have succeeded just by merely giving a loan and expecting a return. They succeed when the outcome is right and when the outcome is proper. Our talk talk person here with the DG, on top of the money, when we say the country, they owe. Let me say that, admit that Nigerians are right to be generally concerned about the rising public debt. Because as a country, we have experienced a situation in the past where our debts got to you know, levels that were not sustainable. And so when the debts begin to rise, people are you know, right to be concerned. But I want to say that our debts are still within limits of sustainability. We truthfully do not have a debt sustainability problem yet. We do not have a, a classical debt problem yet. What we have currently is a revenue problem. Our revenues are too low to support our needs, including our needs for debt you know, service. And consequently, debt service is now consuming over 50% of you know, revenues for the federal you know, government, that is. And that becomes worrisome. But the solution is not to cut back on our borrowings, because we can hardly afford to do so, given our huge developmental needs, especially in the area of infrastructure. Therefore, what we need to do is focus on growing our revenues and there's significant potential to grow our revenues our revenue as you heard the vice president say during his speech our revenue to gdp ratio is still just barely over a third of the african average so if all we did was double our revenues all of these concerns about our debt would disappear. And that's really what government is trying to do now.